I've said it before and I'll say it again. Supplementing with probiotics and or consuming fermented foods is a terrible idea if you have SIBO. So, in the description below is a link to a paper I found while I was just kind of cruising around about how L. reuteri, that's Lactobacillus reuteri, the one that's so popular these days, was administered to a bunch of healthy subjects. And they found that supplementation with this particular strain of L. reuteri resulted in significant colonization of the stomach, duodenum, and ileum. Now, why would you add, want to add more bacteria when you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth? It makes no idea to add more bacteria into this high lactate, high fermentation environment in the upper GI. I don't understand that. And virtually every single person I work with in my consultations has tried probiotics and or fermented foods in the past, ultimately to no avail. I've had some people who were actually healthy beforehand and tried to get healthy and were going crazy on fermented foods and wound up screwing up their health. And they found me online and I fixed them. For more on that, you can go to my testimonials tab on my website where I have plenty of video testimonials and written testimonials for you to view. So, down in the description again is the link to that paper. Now, there are also links to other presentations, other videos I have. So I have two types of videos. There's the short video to get your attention, like this one, where people are gonna say I'm a lunatic and I don't know what I'm talking about and all this other crazy shit. And then I have other types of videos, which are 10, 20 minute plus videos, where I show you tons of data, tons of research. I go through the biochemistry, I reference all my papers, and I explain to you step by step what I'm doing and how my philosophy works and what it's based upon. And in this case, why probiotics and fermented foods are not a good idea for those with SIBO. So you can hit the link to look at this paper I just cited, or the other links to the longer, more technical videos of mine to review those, and hopefully we'll talk in the future.